Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Skyhawk Sports Network here. Welcome to Senior Night here at the River Bowl Stadium in non-conference play between the Falcons of Florida College and your men's Skyhawk. We are just seconds away from kickoff, yeah, and... We are just seconds from kickoff here with our starting lineup for the Skyhawks with Callum Thompson starting in goals, Jacob Elmer, Jiang Kang, Hui Jing Cho, Jordan Paul, Brandon Cervantes, Diogo Palato, Tommy Eskew, Diego Matarita, Ethan Ayla, Zane Whitehead. And senior night here at the River Bowl Stadium for four of the seniors for your Skyhawk team. All four starting here. Looking forward towards a good game here. A fairly decent game here at the River Bowl Stadium. Definitely. You know, the, the seniors who are playing, there are a lot of experienced players in there, such as Brandon Cervantes, who's gone 11 for 11 games so far, scoring three goals in those so he's definitely looking to get his name on the score sheet this afternoon, this evening. Sorry. Seniors like Jordan Paul, Zane Whitehead, and Ethan Ayler, all a part of that 2021 conference championship season as they look to close out their careers here tonight at the River Bowl Stadium. Ball with Matarita. Trying to find Eskew, and it goes out of bounds for the first throw-in of this game. Throw-in to be taken by Sir Vantes on this close side. Taken quickly, Cervantes driving infield here. Trying to twinkle to his way through and keeps the ball here. Switches the wing and Whitehead on that wing. Ball at his feet, back to Cervantes and trying to get past his man but a good challenge there by the Falcons you know, throwing Kari, on the far side you know Kari coming to this game the Skyhawks have not been so fortunate this this run of the season so far do you think they could actually take the win in this game um coming into this game Jasper the stats between these two two teams and seeing how they both play out I'm expecting the Skyhawks here to win this game comfortably here, hoping that's that's not the commentator's curse. Definitely, you know, I think I think they definitely have what it takes to win this game. The, just a couple of minor errors in previous games, which really let them go. But it seems to be a tight nip of players here, which can actually get it done today. I feel like they can get the win here. And the Falcons switching conferences recently as they as they were in the SSAC now they're out of it so at a point in time the Skyhawks could potentially face its team in conference play here but I think it'll be a great great game for a pre warm up against that crunch crunch game they have this Sunday against Life, a game they need to win if they ha if they want to have any chance of making it into the playoffs, Jasper. And I think this game will lay the gauntlet down to see how far their preparations are for Sunday. Yeah, definitely. You know, like you said, this team, Florida College, was in the same conference as Point at some point in time. So in the 2021 team which won the conference play they do know how these players work they do know how they run they do know how they 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 play together so it'll be interesting to see how they can test them today Cervantes going down this wing a strong challenge there by Eskew sees his defender still on the ground just now getting up and Falcons have it with their Goalkeeper, Sundin. Playing out from the back. And the ball played.
play forward here and the press by the Skyhawks in these opening exchanges the first four minutes of the game here the Skyhawks on the front on the front foot what do you think of this game in the early exchanges Jasper it seems to be pretty slow but point seems to be playing in their half quite frequently as the ball is stolen here by Ayla the senior a part of the 2021 conference championship team a good friend of mine and my housemate shout out to Ethan Ayler your senior a lot of experience coming into the play this time Jiang Kang switches the ball on this right side Cervantes Kong showing great composure there to turn away from pressure balls out to Ayler Looking for space passes inside to Paloto. Head up with the ball at his feet. Paloto finds your senior, Jordan Paul. And the wayward pass from Paul sees the Falcons come away with it. But quick thinking there from Matarita to clear the danger. And the Skyhawks there almost in a bit of trouble. The goalie, Callum Wilson there under pressure. And it will be a goal kick here to restart play. Kong. Ayler. Back to Kong. Skyhawks here just probing away. Trying to find a way to break down this Falcons defense here. Jasper. Trying to knit pass after pass after pass. And it's out on this far side with Whitehead. A through ball. Trying to find the run of Tommy Eskew. And Eskew showing great strength there. Shrugs off his man. And a stroke of fortune sees the Falcons come away with it here. Trying to play from the back. Definitely a much more composed game from the Skyhawks. As they look to build into play from the back. Leading also the front there with Eskew. Just getting through but not finding the man. So this is, this is good work from the, just for the starting minutes of the game from the Skyhawks. And a foul there called on the field. Much to the annoyance of the Skyhawk bench, but nonetheless, it will be a free kick in Skyhawk territory for the Falcons. Number 18, Kev Nick Geising. Swinging this one into the box here. The ball into the box is good. Picked up at the edge of the Skyhawk penalty area by the Falcons and good defending by Paloto there. Whitehead with the throw in. Ayler trying to make the big switch here. The pass is cut down, but the Skyhawks retrieve it and it will be a throw in on that far side. Ayler inside the Kong. And the Skyhawks sitting a bit deep here. Hoping to play out from the back. As Jiong Kong there, Jasper, was was in line with Callum Thompson there. And beautiful IQ there by Jiong. Sets away Eskew. And Eskew's on his way into the box. And the goalie quick off his line clears all danger for the Falcons. Just a bit of a heavy touch there from SQ, but that was a beautiful ball in by Materita. Almost looked like it was going to Jacob Oma at one point. Sundin playing the ball out from the back, passing to his defender. And the pass there flying over his Falcon teammate. Ilmer here on the chase. And pressure bursting pipes here. As it as it is a Skyhawk throwing. Cervantes. Hijin Cho. Back to Cho. Hijin Cho on this near side. Slips the ball to Cervantes. Cervantes with the whipped ball in. And the nick. And smart play there to win his team the free kick. Diogo Paloto. 
this is a brilliant opportunity maybe for someone like Brandon Cervantes to take the ball out. He has scored a free kick, especially from this range. It seems to be in his in his toolbox. And it's in his toolbox it is Jasper. And the senior here having having scored from similar positions in the past previously on senior night steps up the shot and just wayward there everybody in the grounds thought thought that ball would have nestled in the back of the net I certainly did but the opportunity goes away and it will be a goal kick for the Falcons good attempt by by Cervantes there, he looks a bit disgruntled with that attempt, but nonetheless, I think it was it was a good try, just way too much on it. Ball. Sir, Vantes there, trying to take that down on the chest in an awkward position. Eskew picks it up, plays the first time ball to Ilmer there, but the Falcons center back showing great strength there. And we, as we wait for play to resume, this week we have homecoming week here at Point University. And starting us off today, of course, we've got senior nights. Tomorrow, f Friday, we've got men's golf. Have an invite away. As well as men's cross country at, Firehawk, at the Firehawk Invitational. And volleyball at Bruton Parker at 7 p.m. Throwing here on that far side. Whitehead to Ayler. Ayler with brilliant play there to just open up the Falcons defense Paul good feet by him to keep the ball Cervantes twinkle toe in there showing his his speed and a turn of pace gets away from his marker the Travella pass switching the the ball switching sides switching the wing Heejin Cho as you trying to link up with Whitehead there sees the pass intercepted and Eskew there pressing winning the ball back playing a delicate ball to Ilmer Whitehead recovers on that far side and it will be the first corner kick of this game to your Skyhawks and personally from that position where Eskew had the ball a bit outside the inner arc I was kind of hoping that he would take a shot to it because he has scored some incredible long-range goals, and that seemed like a prime position for a shot. And especially on senior night, that would be something to remember. But safely, it's gone out for a corner, and Point University are good at corners. You know, their set pieces are good, and they seem to be working with 46 corners coming here, from, with five goals coming from those set pieces. So they can win corners. They just need to convert some more. And your senior, Brandon Cervantes, standing over this here. It... It will be the in swinger into the box. And the Skyhawks have five in the box. Six in the box. The flick by Eskew there. Ricocheting off Falcons player. And ricocheting out of harm's way here. Outside the box. Whitehead in Skyhawk territory. He didn't show. Cervantes. Back to Cho. Cho with the clip ball over the top, trying to find the run of Eskew here. Ilmer wins it back, showing great strength. And the Falcons recover possession there. Good tackle by the center back. And the Falcons driving from midfield here, looking to play the first time through pass. Miscommunication there between Falcon teammates. And Ji Hong Kong comes away with it. A lot of miscommunication in that left, in that right side there. And it seemed to be, it seemed to seem like they were outnumbered at some point. With John Solis just coming up front, just not having enough numbers to defend against Jiang Kang, Hui Jin Cho, Ethan Ayla, and John and Jordan Paul. Jiang Kang here, looking for the big switch. Those passes are in his repertoire, and the first time ball is exquisite. Caught it first time, Cervantes. Ilmer there with the shot. And the precision finish there by Jakob Ilmer, the freshman out of Munich, Germany there, getting a goal on senior night. And as his teammates congratulate him here, beautiful play from the Skyhawks. 
in this first half, seeing a goal here. You know, that was honestly an unexpected thing. Starting off with Jiang Kang at the back here with that beautiful long ball collected well by Cervantes here. Taking the shot in, testing the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper only left with one option but to punch it away. But punched it way too much, reaching the foot of Jacob Ilma who just taps it in. And that play there from start to finish had had class all over it. The pass from Ji Hong Kong, the first time control and shot by your senior Cervantes. And the tidy finish by Jakob Ilmer there to put your Skyhawks in front at the River Bulls Stadium here. As the Falcons are in Skyhawk territory going forward. And the pressing here by your Skyhawks has been relentless as the Falcons come away with it in Skyhawk territory. Matarita, four of the Skyhawks, recovers. Ilmer trying to connect some passes there, but miscommunication between teammates and the Falcons goalkeeper. Sundin passes to his center back here as they try to play out from the back. Recovered there as the ball is with Eskew. The Pass by Eskew trying to find Elmer there, wayward. And it will be a throw in on this near side for the Skyhawks. And Cervantes is over it. Appearing to be alone. It might take the long throw in, but it's short to Eskew. Eskew. Cervantes, the first time whip into the box, met by Elmer as he got up for it. But the direction was a bit wayward there. And it will be a goal kick to the Falcons. Definitely an unorthodox hitter there. It seemed, seemed like someone tap it in with the back of his head. That would have been a beautiful goal to see. <laughs> Almost <laughs> understand exactly what you're trying to say there. As the Falcons play out from the back. And playing here. And back in the play here. As the ball is with Cervantes. And the first time ball trying to find the run of Elmer. Good. Pick up there on the edge of the box. Whitehead here. On that far side. Ayler. Matarita, Kong, and a, and a misplaced pass there by Kong, sees the Falcons forward onto it, and the shot and the goal, as the Falcons equalize from a mistake, a center back mistake from the South Korean Ji Hong Kong, Definitely sees the Falcons good. equalize here, and the Skyhawks with egg on their face here, Jasper. Definitely an unforced error there. That that should not have happened. But John Solas was immediately on the ball, just hitting a little chop to get past Jordan Paul and tapping it past Callum Thompson. A good finish there. And uh, and a lapse in concentration here sees sees joy for the Skyhawks immediately turn into frowns here. As the Falcons have pegged the scores back and the arithmetic of this game has changed here. 1-1 one, one at the River Bowl Stadium. Looking for the long pass to Cervantes, but it is snuffed out. At Falcons playing out from the back. Some brilliant passage play there. But the outside back for the Falcons couldn't get the ball under control as it is with Cho for the Skyhawks. Kong. Ayler. Kong. And the Skyhawks here. Probing away. And it's that first time ball. By Kong again. Causing that. Causing all the problems. On this right hand side. And the majority of the opportunities. In this first half. For the Skyhawks. Have, have come from this. Right side. Kong. Linking up with Cervantes. As the Falcons come th the other way here. And some beautiful link of play. 
and a penalty given. given. And and Ji Hong Kong's night is getting from bad to worse here, as a lapsant concentration gave up his team's lead, and he might have just put his team on the back foot here with the concession of a penalty. Ji Hong Kong here in this first half needs to get out of his rut right away, Jasper. Definitely. Before his night gets from bad to worse. Definitely, and I don't think that's the night he expected to have. But just an error for a couple of minutes before this with another error. Yeah. Hopefully Callum Thompson can fend off the goal scorer. Sully steps up. And a save! And Callum Thompson... Coming up big, the shot stopper there from England, the international with cat-like reflexes there. <laughs> Getting over there, the athleticism and the stretch there. I think he was just caught out by John Solis with the error, with the error from Jiang Kang earlier on. And I think coming to this penalty, I was like, you know what, not this time. Just like Dr. Zeus going in his hat and pulling out a brilliant save. <laughs> and, and the Falcons coming forward and picked off by Elmer here. A foul. Serve. Fontes with the switch. Whitehead going down. Bearing down on the Falcons. Penalty area. Fighting there. And the momentum of this game has, has changed in the Skyhawks' favor. But only just here, Jasper. What are your thoughts? Hopefully, I think hopefully they should try to keep up this momentum. They have been going a bit rocky since the first goal. So they should not have laps of judgment as well as laps of concentration. They should just keep focused and try to win the game. That's what it's about, winning. And Sundin here. The uh, six foot two senior from Copenhagen, Denmark, in the Falcons goal. Heads go up and it goes out for a throw in on that far side to be taken by the Falcons. Picked off. Matarita. Beautiful pass there to Cervantes. And a pass of dreams there by Sir F by Brandon here. Seemed to be looking for SQ on that ball. A pass of dreams I call it. And Kong finding Solis as he tries to clear the ball. Solis running down on the Skyhawk. Penalty era with the cross into the box, and it is met by the hangout. It is met by the head of Ji Hong Kong as it goes out for the corner kick to the Falcons, their first of this game. Set piece, yeah, set pieces are always a grueling moment for any team here because you really don't know what your opponents can do. They only faced, like, like we said. Florida College were not in this conference anymore so they do not know how their set pieces are taken they don't know what's going to happen they don't know what to expect so this is an interesting moment here and it's and taken a, short and a set piece taken from the training ground and almost worked well in their favor here and despite the early setback in this game the Falcons of Florida College here they have fought tooth and nail to be Right on par with the Skyhawks in this game, Jasper. They definitely have. They keep pressing forward. They keep capitalizing on small errors just made. And soon, they might be rewarded with the goal from that. And an interesting game unfolding here in this first half. In the, in the early exchanges, this game looked like a game that the Skyhawks could put away easily here but the Falcons of Florida College are making a game of this and in, in and as the game goes on here this will be an, an 
intriguing match, Jasper. Definitely will be. This, as we are 1 1 right at this moment, it seemed to be sort of a. I wouldn't say walkover, but. The Skyhawks definitely seem to be asserting their dominance in the game. And it appears that, you know, Florida College is just not going to have it. They will come back, and they have come back. So, Elmer, with a beautiful skill there. I think I just saw a Ronaldo chop there. Paloto. On the outside to Ayler. Back into Kong. Kong to Diogo Paloto. Sophomore out of Lisbon, Portugal. And Cervantes on this wing here with time and real estate. And the pass having just too much mustard on it. Finds his way to Zane Whitehead. Whitehead here on that far side. With Ilmer. Ilmer and the first time ball ricochets out of play for the corner and it will be the second corner of this game of this first half for your Skyhawks another set piece opportunity uh, hopefully the Skyhawks can come up with something here uh, it appears that they're going to go back to the same strategy where they somehow try to crowd the keeper oh no this seems to be a different one and the substitution for the senior Jordan Paul here as Isaiah Zamuria Fasio comes in. And it will be the in swinger by your senior Cervantes. Whipped in and heads go up there. And Eskew comes away with it on the edge of the box to Paloto. And the ferocious shot is picked up by Whitehead. And Cervantes on that wing here. Cuts inside on that right foot. And the shot is charged down there. The clip through ball, trying to find the run of Jiong Kong there, and the ball goes harmlessly out of bounds. It will be a Falcons goal kick with Sundin. Jiong Kong just looking lateral up there in the striking position for a center back, even, try, even trying to make runs. The Muria Fasio with the header out. And I've seen Ji Hong Kong play for UMA FC. Uh, it's it's a club team that's close to here, and he I think he is definitely more of a attacking minded player, Jasper. So to reiterate your your uh, point. I support your statement in saying he looks good going forward here. Hopefully we can see some runs from the center back going to striking positions, yeah. The sophomore from South Korea, Jeon Kong, as the Falcons have it. Switch here. Ball on that far side. And the Falcons working their way up the field in Skyhawk territory here. Falcons pressing forward, passing it about, and just going out of play for the throw in. And possession changes hands as Ethan Ayler comes away with it. Throw in to be taken by Ayler. Finds a chest of Eskew. Eskew to Whitehead. Back to Ayler. Jiang Kong almost showed us his wide range of passing skills there again. Could get Savantes here on the right side. Kong to Zamudia Fasio. Fasio back to Kong. Head up, ball his feet. Jiang Kong here. Pass to Paloto. Hi Jin Cho. On this near side here, on this wing with Cervantes cutting in, tiptoeing. Paloto, Whitehead. A turn of pace here in the cross. Sailing over everybody's head in the box. Zane Whitehead's cross 
going harmlessly out of bounds for the goal kick. Could have been a good shot as well. It seemed to be hitting the direction of the keeper. Could have and, been a chip. And with 19 minutes left in this first half, what can the Skyhawks... How can the Skyhawks look back on this first half in your opinion, Jasper? I think looking back in this first half, they definitely need to sort out what's happening at the back line here because those unforced errors just cannot be happening at such a level because these teams will not even, as you said, Karik, you know, they'll be facing Life University. Life is a tough team. They will be looking to exploit such minor errors like that, like John Solis did here. And they will punish them, especially with the free penalty kick like that. Callum Thompson was just awake for that one, but next time you never know. And Life University, they are the number three ranked NAIA men's team in the country here. So going into that matchup on Sunday, it will be a difficult one here. And preparation for that game based off this first half looks a little bit shaky here. It is looking a bit shaky, but a bit of positives to come up from it. They're seeming a bit composed from the last time I've seen them play, as well as just really trying to work the ball at the back, looking for the runs, looking for the long ball, which they did find Cervantes on. Interception and here by show here with the press. And the dink. And unlucky here by the South Korean international, Huijin Cho won the ball and bearing in on goal here and Sundin the senior out of Copenhagen Denmark doing just enough there to put Huijin Cho off goal kick here for the Falcons Chip was definitely a good option it's just just drifted wayward the keeper did just enough to put him off as he comes back onto the ball looks to hit it one time heads go up and Paloto wins it. Ricochets to a Falcon as they try to go in the attack here in Skyhawk territory at the midfield line. Falcons here. In, and in this first half, we've seen your Skyhawks go forward and your Skyhawks defend here. What part of or or game is looking like the most secure right now, in your opinion, Jasper? Definitely the high pressing shown right here. This Wigan, this, this is glass. A beautiful goal there, Noah Wigan, the young freshman out of Hawaii. Noah Wigan oh, on the score sheet. Showing his class, showing his pace, showing his press. And I did say at the start of the season that he presses almost like a headless chicken. Paying off there as he gets himself on the score sheet. Definitely, Karik. Like you've been saying, like you asked me, you know, what is what, what is the team doing right in this moment? And it is pressing. They're pressing the ball hard. Hu Jing Cho with the interception there coming from pressing the ball. And changes in this first half as we see Diego Matarita. Coming off and Harry Waite checking onto the field. The young man from London, England. Freshman number 22. Joining, joining the game and joining the press here as the Skyhawks get unlucky here. Throwing taken quickly, and the and the ball will change hands as the Skyhawks come away with it here. Whitehead throwing, trying to find the head of Harry Wade here. Picked it by Cho. Beautiful touch, just to take that ball under his control. Whitehead on that far side. Wait, Hee Jin Cho. And Hui Jin Cho here, <laughs> showing his his kill, 
his smarts here. Bit of a cheeky pass there from Cervantes, but it's snuffed out by Jonathan Wilson. And ooh, an almost beautiful play there by Cervantes with the skill. And Wigan winning the ball illegally here in terms of the ref's point of view. And it will be a free kick to be taken by Sundin. Launches the ball forward as it drops in midfield there. And it is a chase between Kong and the Falcons forward. And a good clearance there by Callum Thompson. Sees the ball going for a throw in on this near side here. Throw in taken. Trying to find Solace. Solace linking up here. First time cross into the box. Taken comfortably by Thompson. As he sets the counter attack on its way. But the wayward pass picked up by Waite here. As he fights in midfield. Loses out. And the first time shot. Not troubling the keeper here. Ball with Ayler. Wow. Cervantes. On this near side. He's been twinkle towing all first half here. One of the game's better performers in this first half here. The only thing that's missing from his play is a goal here. Ayler. Harry Wait. Wait on the ball. In Skyhawk territory. The beautiful switch to Cervantes on the line. Almost bad for him, but he got the ball under control here. Kong. The ball played out to Ayler as the Skyhawks go forward here. And and this Skyhawk team here. Wait on the ball and as he loses. What seemed to be a handball. The ref says play on. And the Skyhawks continue their, their press. And speaking on the team, Jasper, some of the players who have come into this Skyhawk team and are now staples. For example, Diego Matarita that didn't really start the season, but towards the end of the season when the Skyhawks have picked it up per se. Um they've been new new uh faces coming into this team and a revitalized goal here for your Skyhawks. Definitely you know there's a lot of new people coming into this game. Like Jacob Oma up front there. As well as Harry Wake coming in there. With Alex Fletcher Clifford who's on the bench but who usually starts as well. So these are some some players who might be showing off in practice a bit there. Even Callum Thompson starting in goal. Even though Simon Nikish is hurt at the moment. Callum Thompson has been holding down the fort at the back there. It's been a season of, it's been a season of ups and downs here for Callum Thompson as he has seen red in the season here and he has seen himself get get hurt and he has seen himself come up with big moments here for example that that save earlier on in this game and and saves he is he's made all throughout the season he came in as the deputy for Simon and he is he's ended up playing the whole season practically definitely you know he's so far he has been playing almost every game or he has been subbed in at almost every game so he's he's definitely not new to the goals at this point he's he's gaining a bit of experience in the goals he's understanding what to do what not to do and with just no. and with just 10 minutes left in this first half here your scores are your Skyhawks 1 and the Falcons of Florida College 1 at senior night here at the Riverboat Stadium 
and the play here as as the Falcons high press pays off there and they win the ball high up the field but beautiful play by Paloto here has Whitehead coming away with it looking for the first time ball trying to find Cervantes but he was sandwiched between two Falcons defenders as the Falcons come away with it in midfield ball played back to the defense the Skyhawks here in a 3-4-3 shape pressing pressing forward here holding their their shape three at the back four in midfield and the three forwards up front look to press whenever they can here as it is a throw in on this near side for the Falcons and with just under nine minutes left in this first half what what notes can the Skyhawks take away from this game here Jasper they can take away a lot you know they've they have been playing at a level which bit of unnecessary there from John Solas could see him getting booked at this moment but does not but as I was saying Karik there are a lot of takeaways here that the Skyhawks can can go into the next game as well as halftime with they, they have been pressing the ball well they have been looking for the opportunities up front the long ball just a, just some minor mistakes which could have been prevented but a, a goal did come from one of those mistakes so it's definitely something they should also look at at the back and and in trouble here is the Skyhawks as the Falcons are on the attack Whitehead goes down and and wait with the lob ball trying to find Wiegan break and break out on the counter attack here but the press by Wiegan and the ball is picked up by Sir Vantes driving in midfield and is halted by the F Falcons midfielder. Solace here going forward for the Falcons. Passes it off to the wing. The first time ball inside is intercepted there by Whitehead. Pass to Kong. Ball out to Ayler. Ayler to Kong. Kong to Whitehead. A lot of interplay in the box here yeah, it's a bit dangerous an interception or an error could occur yeah that could see them a uh, go down in this game Cervantes looks like he wants the ball yeah on the right side as he moves back and he gets it and and your seniors here Brandon Cervantes Zane Whitehead Ethan Ayler and Jordan Paul can we get a word from you Jasper on or seniors have how have they how have they fared in your eyes over the years playing for this Skyhawk team? How much do you do you know about them and what are your personal opinions on them? You know, personally knowing them, I, I really haven't known them for quite long. I've played with a few of them at Soccer Sunday, such as Cervantes and Whitehead. So And just to hold your point in there, my commentary <laughs> partner said soccer Sunday it is the pickup game every Sunday at 3 3 30 so if you're in West Point and you want to enjoy a game of pickup soccer on a chill day 3 30 in West Point by the softball field soccer Sunday here definitely come show out so Cervantes is someone who I've seen play there definitely a different attitude from from there to here of course he is more of an aggressive player here he seems to be a person who clearly has earned his name on the starting sheet as he's always looking for the pass always looking for the ball as well as the shot and with Ayla at the back there providing a strong pivotal role in the back line what you need from a captain as well he has proven that you know he can play especially coming into that 2021 team which won the conference playing a pivotal role in that as well Jordan Paul hasn't really started that much this this season, but I did get the opportunity to play with him last weekend, last Sunday at Soccer Sunday. He seems like a good, absolute good lad. A fun guy to play with. Definitely someone who I think has grown throughout the years here. And as you can see, he is a good player, especially in the back line there. 
And Zane Whitehead. Zane Whitehead, definitely someone who I do not know personally, but I've also gotten the opportunity to play with him at Soccer Sunday. Also, a really down-to-earth person, seems like a good guy. On the field, on the left side there, always making the quick runs, looking to cut in, get the cross into the box, looking for someone to score. You know, that unselfishness, that unselfishness that you really want from a forward there. And the ball with Zamudi Afasio. Throwing on this near side for your Skyhawks. Ball in. Ball to Kong. And the ball played to Thompson. Thompson back out to Zamudia Fasio. The chest control. Back to Kong. And a big switch there by Ji Hong Kong. And a little lapse in concentration there sees the ball go out of bounds for the throw-in to the Falcons as the senior from Copenhagen stands over it passes it to his center back Falcons trying to play out from the back and good pressure there positive press by Wiegand sees Cho come away with it Wiegen Cho Ayler. Whitehead here. With the beautiful first touch on his thigh. The cutback. Whitehead going forward. Bro, yo. Quick throw and taken there. And the Falcons looking to play out from the back here. Cervantes pressing Roberts. Pressuring him. Hard here. And comes away with it. Good pressure here by Cervantes. Sees the ball with Harry Waite. And the situation telling for Wiegand. As the wayward pass here by the Falcons. Sees the ball come away. Strong. With the Skyhawks. Strong, strong pass there from Wilson. It seemed very unlikely someone to get on the end of that one. See more of a shot. Cho. Paloto. Kong. Cho. Zamuri Afasio. Kong. Hui Jin Cho. And as this first half draws to a close here, your Skyhawks, their, their last game before they go into action against the number three team in the country for a possible spot in the playoffs here. And as the first half is drawing to a close, they can look back on a first half where they took their chance as well. But silly mistakes at the back saw them concede here. But overall, positive play here by the Skyhawks. Hoping, hoping in the second half they can turn it up and they can come away with a dub here. But the Falcons go go forward with time winding down in this first half. Salas with a solo run and Cervantes in trackhawk mode. Harry Waite. Beautiful touch and turn to get away from his marker. Cervantes. Trying to play the through ball to Wiegand. And it's Cervantes. Finding Hui Jin Cho. Fouled. A foul there. On the South Korean international. Hui Jin Cho here. As Cervantes... Releasing his inner Messi here. Halted abruptly. And Paloto. Out to Ilmer. Ball to Whitehead. Back to Ilmer. And a beautiful cut. Looking to turn his, his defender inside out. But great recovery there by the Falcon center back. Seemed to be a bit of... Some talks out the referee. 
and a telling to to solace throw in here one. on that far side into the box Ilmer's touch will be the last action of this first half as your Skyhawks lead two to one here against the Falcons of Florida College join me and Jasper after the break for coverage of the second half I'm here with junior women's golfer Frederica Zetterblom. You are the new record holder. I mean, one stroke, lowest score in around 68. Can you tell me how you feel, one, being a new record holder at the school now? It, it feels good, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I tied a school record last tournament, so I kind of didn't see it coming, but it feels good. So tell me, take me through how it feels, one, just being back on the course for sure this year, just competing through all these tournaments. And how do you feel about the team morale, especially y'all finished second place yesterday and you were second overall in that tournament. Take me through that. It feels great because I know we haven't been able to like compete, compete with other tournaments or like with other teams, but now we're really having a great team. We're doing great at the course this year and I'm really happy for the team and everything we accomplish. Exactly. I mean, and let's looking ahead, y'all have it so good going into that next tournament. Y'all get to go to Puerto Rico. Yes. Take me through that. Are you excited? Are you I'm so pumped? I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> and just the fact that we're flying out two days before the tournament and we get some time in Puerto Rico, it feels amazing. Yeah. And that we get to do that. Do you think that'll be a good like team bonding experience oh, yeah, and just sure. a good, just yeah. memorable experience? Like, you know how they say, what was your favorite thing when you were, as your yeah. tenure as a golfer? Not many people can say, well, I went to Puerto Rico and I was in a golf tournament. That's going to be pretty good to oh, even yeah. say. Coach Greg is very big on like team bonding and he always, he took us down to Florida for five days before a tournament and it just feels great to do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so. Looking ahead, because obviously once y'all get back from that, then it's more focusing on the spring. Oh, yeah. Do you see yourself, one, breaking more records, and then two, do you see this team making a run as y'all are in a new conference for Southern States? Hopefully I break more records, but <laughs> I can't say anything. Yeah. Um, but I'm really looking forward for the spring. I think we can do big things. I really do. And how, how do you feel about this change as far as the conference, going from the AAC to the Southern States? I really don't see like a big difference. We're doing so great this semester. Yeah. So it's not like we don't compete with the other teams. I, th I thought it was going to be harder, but we have so much of a better team. And yeah, y'all's just... confidence has been like through the roof. I mean, oh. from the first, <laughs> from media day, <laughs> <laughs> to the first tournament here to even now it's like okay well nothing's really changing y'all are starting to really figure it out now yeah, i mean y'all finished placed, like second as a team ever before yeah so this is all this is it big. really feels great yeah because i mean i remember I, when i got the text like oh they play second i'm like <laughs> all right there we go yeah what do you look forward to as far as placing at the puerto rico meet well tournament sorry um, what else I look forward to? Yeah, like, do you, do you see, do you see the women's golf team getting the top five finish there? Or just having to just really one for the great experience of being out there, but just really competing like y'all always do. I feel like we could do great in Puerto Rico. I really do. Cause now we get, what is it? One and a half week off yep. and keep practicing, keep improving. And now when we get like a taste of it, how it is to be in the top, I feel like we're going to just keep going. That's a good and answer. We were in the first place for the, after a second, day, <laughs> yeah. after the first day, so. <laughs> All right, so your final thoughts on breaking this record that you just broke. What is your final thoughts on that? It feels great. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just going to keep practicing, keep going, keep trying to break more records, I guess. <laughs> well, Frederick, I appreciate you letting me come on this side of town and, you know, have spent some time doing this interview with you. Congratulations on the team success and your success, and we hope for more. Thank you.
underway here in this second half. And underway here in this second half at senior night here at the River Bowl Stadium. The ball on this near side with Jiong Kong. Facio trying to clear the ball out from the back and the Skyhawks running into a bit of trouble here. Picked up by the Falcons as they're in Skyhawk territory at, at the edge of the box here. Going forward. And the referee just trying to sort everything out here. Two balls in the field at once. And the play resumes here with Zamudio Alfacio to Ayler on that far side. Ayler coming in field. Trying to switch the wing here. Put the pass here. A wayward pass by Ayler. Not often we say that. But the pass was wayward and the Falcons do come away with it. Pressing the ball hard there by Oma. The Skyhawks here. Trying to come out the gates flying here. Trying to press home their advantage. With, with this second half only being two minutes in here. The Skyhawks look to close this game out. As, as they're pressing with intent. And the pressing works here as the ball is, is with Matarita. And the Falcons come away with it here. Smart play. Taken quickly there from that free kick. Great IQ and great strength shown there in, in that play. Ball on the far side. And the Falcons have it in the heart of their <laughs> defense. Ball at the foot of the center back. <coughs> The feet of the center back, sorry. Sinden with the big switch here. Trying to find the run of his center back. And the first time control was good. A this foul called on the field. This could see someone getting booked here. Seems like Marcherita came in for the late tackle after Cervantes. But the referee would just shrug it off as a warning. And great refereeing in this game here. Everybody loves a ref that can dictate the game, an authoritative ref, but signs of being a good good ref too is carding when absolutely necessary, Jasper. Definitely, you know, it's just a couple of warnings thrown out there for minor, minor infringements. So a card definitely is unnecessary, but... If there's a bit of indiscipline here, it could see someone getting booked today. And we have Callum Thompson here. And and has the Skyhawks come back to defend this corner here. I believe it is the second corner of the game for the Falcons. And it will be the in-swinger. The ball played in. Unable to beat the first defender there. Poor cross. And the ball is picked foul up by forward. Cervantes. Seems and to be a penalty here. And a foul called on the field. And a right on the edge of the box. Catching my co-commentator off guard. Thinking it was a penalty. But it will be a free kick here at the edge of the box. Definitely no referee running with intent like that. Seemed to be a penalty. And the, and the Skyhawks here on the counterattack. Great run here by Ilmer. And twinkle towing his way through is Tommy Eskew. But brought fouled. down in the middle of the field. As the Skyhawks take it quickly. Whitehead. Jion Kong. Zamuria Facio. Ayler. Going infield here. A defender that's comfortable with the ball at his feet. Your senior, Ethan Ayler. Savantes to Cho. Cho trying to cut it back on the byline there. Picked up by 
Zamudio so Facio. Sh great strength and IQ in midfield there by um, Matarita. Just to come away with possession. Ball with Kong. Played out on this near side to Whitehead. Ooh. And having his marker do the little shimmy there was Whitehead showing great skill. The first time ball out of the back from Kong. Finding Ilmer who holds the ball up superbly. Kong and Ilmer there on the touchline. The Just ball going out, and it will be a throwing on this near side to the Falcons. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, Jasper, and I'm going to give you time to time to answer. We're we're going to get back to it at some point in the game, preferably towards the end of the game. But with with a potential season-ending game, hopefully it's not. Hopefully, I did not just give it the commentator's curse. But with with a potential season ending game it might be their last game of the season or a stepping stone towards getting getting some sort of honors out of the season but looking back out of all the games that we've shared commentary and the and the game that I wasn't here that you commentated for what would you say would be some of your best moments of the season we'll just do five or you can narrow it down to three as i said at the towards the end of the second half i'm gonna get back to you but now it's on the field with the falcons i think some of the greatest moments i've seen here at the Rubble stadium Number one definitely has to be Tommy SQ with the absolute rocket that he launched right outside the arc here. Somewhere in between halfway and the penalty box for the opposition team. Just a beautifully struck ball. Top corner. That was honestly one of the best goals I personally have ever seen here. And and holding holding your your opinion here because we don't we don't want you to answer this question right away. Because I'm sure the viewers at home and those on the Skyhawk Sports network here love to hear your voice, and they would love to know how your like list pans out all throughout this second half. So we're gonna leave it right there. In swinger taken by the Falcons inside the box, trying the acrobatic finish here. A bicycle kick. <laughs> and a foul there on on Thomas Eskew. Bringing the big man to the ground here. Not easy to do so. Matarita on that far side with the ball. With the first time, Ping trying to find the run of Eskew. Chest down beautifully into his path. And the offside flag goes up right away. Seemed like a good run there from SQ. Just caught offside. It Look. seemed it seemed like a brilliant run and the control was perfect too. Definitely, you know, that that brought it down perfectly. Seemed a bit onside in my opinion, but I'm not the ref, so just have to go with the call. A men to that Jasper. And the Skyhawks here going through the gears. Ilmer on the outside as Numbers flooding forward for the Skyhawks. Eskew holding the ball up on the touchline with four Falcons players for company eventually losing out. And the chase is on here as the through ball is played. Great skill by the Falcons attacker to get away from his first marker. But Ayler was there on the scene. Your senior to clean the situation up and a foul by the Falcons here a foul on Matarita Thank referee you. still keeping his cards in his pocket here I was actually just about to say that the referee seems to be sort of reaching his limit at this point you know there are quite a lot of fouls the next one could prove a bit fatal for the opposition or the Skywalks yeah there's there's only so much talking to that a ref can 
can give and me personally I've been satisfied with how this ref has been calling the game um as a Skyhawk fan I wasn't too happy about the penalty call but as a worker of the Skyhawk sports network here I am neutral in the decision throwing on that far side Jion Kangya has been really beautiful with those long balls just just edging over the defender's head for Cervantes there to take it out for a go corner kick and like I said before this is homecoming week and this Saturday the 21st of October we've got men's golf the Bojangles invite which is away we've got men's Corner taken quickly, and the shot. The header just over the crossbar there, and an opportunity for the Skyhawks here, as they looked to tighten their grip on this game here, but but couldn't take the chance. And it's over to you, Jasper. There is men's and women's swimming at Brunau, with Brunau and Piedmont in a triangular. There's volleyball at Middle Georgia at 1 p.m. away. Football versus Reinhardt here. Well, at the Valley Sportsplex at 1 p.m. And that football game, ladies and gents, is the homecoming game for your Skyhawks. They have never won against Reinhardt University here. And you're... Skyhawk football team starting starting this season on a positive note a better season than we have had in recent years here so if you're anywhere close to to the valley or the West Point area or even if if you're in LaGrange come out to support your Skyhawk football team this Saturday at homecoming which which they will be announcing the Skyhawk homecoming king and queen here. And serve. Wanta driving in midfield here. Falcons tackling hard. Coming away with it here. But the great, but great pressing here by Jakob Ilmer. And the first card of the game is a yellow card. Seem to be time coming for that one and the ref just reaching his his wits end here and with 32 minutes left in the first half the first card of the game is brandished and it is a yellow card for a Falcons player they do however come away with it and the commentators curse hits before I could finish my sentence and Whitehead here on this near side Eskew Eskew having having a fairly decent game game today. The only thing he's lacking at this moment is a is a goal. And a talk and stern talking to by the ref, knowing his at his attitude. Tends to tends to get a bit flared and riled up here. And Thompson Having the situation under control here. Zamudi Afasio. Ayler. With the flick ball. That goes out of bounds. And it will be a throw in here. For. The Falcons on that near side. Falcons here. On the attack. Chopping challenge by Cho. But the Falcons attacker comes away from it and Falcons on that far side here using that wing to their advantage but smart play by the captain and your senior Ethan Ayler to get your Skyhawks out of harm's way and it's taken back for a goal kick yeah as we reach the 31st minute of this half And Zamudi Afasio. Ball played to Cervantes. 
picked up by Eskew. Wrestling there, almost battling, losing out, but his teammate helps him there. Pressing is always a team game, and Paloto helped his teammate Eskew out there. Ball with Zamuria Facio in the heart of the Skyhawk defense. Ball with Ailer, the first time ball out of the back. Finding Eskew, the chest down pass. Getting whited in the mix here. With a beautiful ball to switch the play there. Almost getting on to a brilliant pass. And a special shout out to all the fans here who are, who are at the River Bowl Stadium to see your Skyhawks and your seniors play their final home game here. Potentially, what could be their final home game? Fingers, fingers crossed. You know, Port University definitely does have a high mountain to climb here. Coming off of a number of losses in this period of play, as well as going against one of the best teams in the conference, number three ranked. So that's that's going to be a tough, tough, tough call for these guys. And honestly, they have to band together and, and just try make it through. In a corner here, it will be the in swinger by Cervantes. Be the fourth corner of this game for your Skyhawks. Corner taken quickly, and a great corner. And Cho taking it down on the thigh. Whitehead coming into the mix here. Cervantes with the whip into the box, finding Ji Hong chested down beautifully, but he did not have time to make. The connection. And the Falcons here trying to play out from the back. And defending here at the midfield line. This SQ. Skyhawks come away with it. Whitehead bearing now on the box. Slips here under the challenge. Loses his footing and the ball as the Falcons come away with it on the counterattack here. But the Skyhawks with numbers back slows the Falcons break. Showing great skill in midfield is the Falcons. And picked off by Matarita, the commentator's curse hitting. And a couple rugby challenges in there. Sees possession changing hands. And the Falcons coming away with it. Speaking of rugby. Jasper, I know that you know a thing or two of it. What did you think about those last two challenges that brought the free kick from the referee? Definitely a bit over-aggressive there. Completely unnecessary. You know, that's that's what proved quite fatal for a lot of teams which have played at the River Boya that I've seen go through similar instances where they have the ball, they have the position, they've got numbers, they've got the people. It's just rushing the play or trying to prove something and it will get you sent off for that so that's completely unnecessary and the Skyhawks here looking to play out from the back with Kong throwing taken here picked up by Ilmer as the Skyhawks Look to break on the counterattack. The beautiful ball to find Huijin Cho down this, down this near side here. The first time cross by Cho is shot down. And beautiful play here on the byline. <coughs> Huijin Cho showing his smarts here to win a free kick. And Paloto with a beautiful angled ball. Out on the wing. Cervantes with a drive inside the box. A grass cutter there. But it is intercepted by the Falcons center back. As it goes out of bounds for the throw. And a change here. With the ball going out of bounds. With Harry Waits checking in the game. And Diogo Paloto comes out of the game. Looking a bit unsatisfied here. 
as he threw his wrist tape on the fence, a bit annoyed to have been taken out of the game, that or annoyed of his performance. I think Paloto had a had a good game here, Jasper. You know, definitely very aggressive on the ball. And Cho here, twisting and turning in the box. And uh, and an error there in commentary by myself. Paloto is still in the game, so the, so the substitution for Harry Wade was taken out for Diego Matarita. It's taken out Matarita. Sorry, and as. Play continues here. It's Elmer trying to get on the under that. Falcons come away with it in defense as they try to go forward here. As they try to find a way to get back into this game. As at the, at the moment they are losing this game. But a goal here could change the tide of this whole fixture. Good interplay passes in the midfield, yeah. And broken up by Harry Wade here illegally. As they come back for the free kick taken by the goalkeeper. A bit unexpected there. Really trying to get the men up. The Falcons pushing their team forward here. <coughs> trying to make a game of this on senior night here. You know, Jasper, it is never a good thing being an opposing team and coming to your opponent's senior night because it almost feels somewhat disrespectful that they choose to schedule a game against your team as their senior night. And so I think that the Falcons here come into this game having something to prove here. You know, definitely. I think coming to this game, both teams have something to prove. The scouts seem to have something to prove that, you know what, we can win the next game as long as we work on certain things. And the Falcons definitely have something to prove because they want to win. What what greater victory is there to beat someone at the senior night? So there's, there's different types of motivations here which do intertwine into one. Kong. Past uh, Zamudi Afasio. Afasio. Harry Wade. Holding up the balls. Well here. And the commentator's curse strikes. As he loses the ball. Position still with the Skyhawks. And with Wade. Paloto here. And Ilmer is off here, streaking down that right flank with Eskew and Cervantes in support. Picks out Cervantes, and the block C denies your senior, Brandon Cervantes, a senior night goal. What would be his fifth goal of the season? Ilmer there in the box. He's been electrifying. And Eskew here, breaking the challenge. But it has been called as a foul on the goalkeeper, yeah. And Eskew with his head in his hands here. The linesman kept his flag down, but the on-field ref called a foul there and denies Thomas Eskew a senior night goal. Definitely feeling a bit disgruntled there. I think he might have thought they, there was nothing in that challenge. Definitely annoyed, Eskew. But it is the nature of football, and we are underway. Touch.
and heads go up and the smallest man on the field wins the header Zane Whitehead here your senior much to the annoyance of the crowd here and the Skyhawk on Skyhawks on the bench but the Falcons get us underway as they try to go forward as they as they still have a chance to get into this game Jasper what are your thoughts definitely I think they do that was a very close shave over there with the goal from SQ which I personally still think should have stood but nonetheless it was not a goal so they still have the opportunity to make a comeback here and Cho with a beautiful touch taking ankles here Elmer with the first time control and the Skyhawk forwards here turning on the style here Esku holding the ball at his foot coming away with it only to find out that it was taken illegally and Thomas Eskew here acting like senior night is a skill show here Jasper I think so you know people are out here to watch out here to see what you can do so it's always it's always just adds to the flair of things a bit of a heated dispute in the box there between SQ and one of the players and uh, and as I mentioned in the and as I mentioned earlier on in this game Thomas Eskew is known for we could attitude flares the as the referee is having a word with his linesman trying to find the culprit here having a word as tempers are flaring inside the box another warning from the referee yeah. and good refereeing here once more not being card happy as Whitehead stands over this the opportunity to make it three cross goes in Zunden with the header Eskew back in and the goal the lob header and and the celebration telling the Falcons goalie to keep quiet Tommy Eskew stomping his class letting the Falcons know that this is home territory Thomas Eskew and a shout out to Bobo here yep. as, as the arithmetic of this game changes once more your Skyhawks lead three goals to Florida colleges one honestly I'm not surprised at all this this seemed to be a clear goal to me like the previous attempt from Tommy Eskew and like this they say you know the board doesn't lie that's the previous attempt that seemed like a goal to me in my opinion and it seems like Tommy has come back to rectify that issue and he has done it in style with a beautiful header and what my co-commentator is trying to say is that the FIFA gods here rightly blessed Thomas Eskew as he was unfairly denied his goal before but getting on the score sheet and tempers flaring here the referee doing his due diligence here and brandishing the second yellow of this game for a silly challenge too tempers are are really starting to flare in this game Jasper and knock on wood I hope it's not the commentators curse but we might have a brawl a breakout here it appears so you know a lot of conflict is coming as we carry on in this game yeah ball played out to the edge of the box picked up by Ayler Ayler with a front time cross into the box and Eskew doubling his total the cross flew into the box and Eskew flew onto it it is a second double on senior night for Thomas Eskew turning up on senior night you know like I said before the board does not lie I think it's clear that he's just rectified what happened before and just added one onto it. Show them, you know what, you know what, you guys, you guys don't run us. We are here at our home game, at our senior night to do what we came here to do and we came here to win. 
and SQ is doing that with some pure class finishing. And Jasper, I don't know if you're seeing what, what I'm seeing, but Thomas Eskew has a chance to get a perfect hat-trick here. A goal from a header, a left-footed finish. And if he somehow can, can manage to have this ball get off his right boot and into the back of the net, it will be a perfect hat-trick here on senior night for Thomas Eskew. Definitely. As he intercepts here, it could be his hat-trick. And it is his hat-trick! <laughs> And Hattrick hero, oh, Thomas Eskew. Hattrick, nine. <laughs> and kisses to the camera, kisses to his home fans here. He has been electric here. And, and your striker, a possible nomination for player of the week with three goals here. In, in somewhat quick succession here, those, I think that may have been a 10 minute hat trick here, Jasper. Definitely, you know, that, I just finished my sentence off him trying to look for his third goal and he scored his third one here. So, <laughs> definitely working hard at these goals. And beautiful play here by the Skyhawks. At the start of this game, we did say it could be a game that the Skyhawks could run away with and with knocking on wood and hoping hoping that the commentator's curse didn't hit your skyhawks here have run away with this game and with just under 18 minutes left in this game it is turning into a well exciting contest here with the skyhawks on course to get a dub definitely you know some steady pace here it seems like they've run away with this game a bit and one now and Jasper, you and I know how how funny the game of soccer is. How how like the word I'm trying to find is how unpredictable this this sport that we so love is. Florida College ten minutes ago had the chance to come back into this game and ten and in ten minutes this game has completely gotten away from him by a Thomas Eskew Hattrick here. What are your thoughts? Honestly, this, like you said, this game is completely unpredictable. You know, here at Riverbowl Stadium, almost two home games away, Point University did lose in a last minute goal. So that was completely unpredicted. And you know, here in the space of 10 minutes, they've managed to score three goals. And to be denied one here, which could have been the fourth one, you know, just rectifying the situation with that one as well showing them that you know what we can play and speaking of preparation for their biggest game of the season to come when they face life university on sunday your skyhawk team this has been with with just 16 minutes left in this game great warm-up here i would say for yeah. this for that crunch match on sunday Definitely, you know, coming into that game, going against the number three rated team in the conference. In the you, country. In the country, in fact, sorry. <laughs> the number rated team in the country. So, with the confidence coming off of this game, you definitely want to go in there on a high, on a positive, And they're definitely doing that, you know. They're backing their skill. They're backing what they can do. Just minor mistakes in the first half caused that unforeseen goal. But they have come back in the second half with something to be watched out for in the upcoming game on Sunday. And a challenge here sees the third card of this game being brandished to Harry Waite. He thinking, thinking the challenge was clean. Trying to make a tackle for his fans on, on this close side here, but his joy being abruptly ended by the yellow card here. Wigan and the headless chicken pressing here. Grace Trent by Paloto. The flag will go up as it is a foul. Jasper, I don't know much Portuguese, but I think in spurts of this game, Paloto has been 
letting the Falcons have it. Definitely, you know, he seems a bit fired up here. Maybe he's trying to get on score sheets as well. And Diogo Paloto having three goals on the season here. Not, not shy when it when it comes to scoring, especially from his deep line midfield role. More of a creator. And this team and the Skyhawk team has a fire about him. Throw in here on this near side. Throw in taken and Kong marshalling the ball, making sure it was all his. Wait. Wiegand to the hat trick hero. Plays a beautiful ball here. And wait. Onto this here. Strong run. Tries to hit it first time. And Lady Look brings the ball in his path. Out to Whitehead. The first time cross. Runners into the box. And Sundin. After standing on his head all game here, looks at the scoreboard and sees his Falcons team down by four goals here. And the Skyhawks still pressing here towards the end of this game. Backwards player. Sundin. Wiegand pressing there. And the Skyhawks just easing off the burners here allowing the the Falcons to have the time and space to play that ball here and what the Skyhawks do not want and it's mandatory that they do not get complacent here Jasper with with just under 13 minutes left in this game here the Skyhawks need to keep a level head to see this game through. You know, definitely, especially if what if you know what if they go up, maybe three goals against Life University, the third-rated team in the country. You need that composure and complacency to be like, you know what, the game's not over yet. Unless you hit the 90-minute mark, there is no ways that you can fully say that you've won the game because football is honestly one of the most unpredictable sports out there. Anything and could happen. And a whole host of changes here sees sees four possible substitutions and and with the game in and with the game on Sunday in sight here, coach coach Mark Wozniak here is taking the opportunity to to rest some of his key players and give some of the bench players minutes and experience here Ilmer getting up there throwing on this near side for the Falcons picked off by Cho wearing the captain's armband here Eskew Pass inside. Pass on the outside here as El Principito steps on the ball. Alejandro Smith, the first time pass into the middle. Wiegand! Just too much on now. And Noah Wiegand here, his, his eyes lit up in anticipation of his second goal of the game here. And shout out to the ball boy on this close touchline here. Taylor O'Neill, captain of this team or one of the captains on this team. Shout out also to Simon Nietzsche, starting goalie, injured. Being, being beautiful ball boys on the sideline. And onto the field of play as the Skyhawks here trying to press on their 
advantage and a beautiful control there, breaking up that play. The ball with Paloto in midfield. Wee Jin Cho wearing that captain's armband for the rest of this senior night game. We have my cool commentator's favorite defender, Alex Clifford. Would you say he's your favorite Skyhawk defender, Jasper? I think he's your favorite. I think so. You know, I like the way his, his surname rings off the, the tongue. Alex Fletcher Clifford. It kind of kind of has that certain ring to it. And you certainly like his range of passing. The first time shot from Jakob Ilmer with the goalie scrambling here. A good play. Skyhawks just, just taking advantage of chaos at the back here for the Falcons. And with nine, with just under ten minutes left in this game, your scores are your Skyhawks five and the Falcons of Florida College one. With Hatrick Hero on the field, Tommy Eskew getting a fresh cut today and three goals. It's been quite a day for Thomas Eskew. It Jasper. really has been. And throw in on that far side for the Falcons. I would I would like to give a special shout out to those watching on on the live stream. Joining us here at Skyhawk Sports Network. Me and my co commentator Jasper and Bufu here. We're always glad to to know that somebody's out there listening to us right jasper you know definitely we it's not it's all about us as well it's about the people and we do do this for the people S students at being being student athletes as well jasper here is a swimmer for the point university swim team you can catch him in in action at brana on saturday and your lead commentator, Kyrie McLeod, is the goalie for the Skyhawk lacrosse team. You can see the Skyhawks in, in action in the spring. Foul here on the field. El Principito with the pass inside the box. Cut out here. Cho. One by Cho. Alejandro Smith fighting for it on the f far side. Losing out there. And a foul call. And, in a sp and a real special shout out to my producer, Louis, on the tennis team. Shout out, Louis. So with just under seven minutes left in this game here, Jasper, back to that early question. You still have four more, four or two more moments that stood out for you in this season. Let's hear it. I would say my second one would be Brandon Savartes as he came up to take the with free kick. He took. He took a beautiful free kick right outside the edge of the box, sort of in that angle, just curling it past the keeper. That was honestly one of the most beautiful goals I've ever seen. Skyhawks here trying to work their way from the back here, but to to add to your point, my best, I would agree with you on top spot, but second spot has to go to Noah Wiegand here. Bit of a dark horse in this team here, but his work has, has gone so un, unnoticed. And in the game against Faulkner, where his pressing proved fruitful, he knew nothing uh, about it. And uh, Ricochet saw him scoring. And a chance here as as the aforementioned Noah Wiegen drive into the box. Pulled back for Eskew.
my you get to continue jasper i would say my third one would be definitely the hat-trick play we just watched here today <sighs> that was honestly something in fact thinking about it now i think i think i'm gonna swap first and second place Tommy Eskew here, a part of that 2021 championship season, played close to every every minute of that season, was an integral part. And Paloto here, racing the keeper! Oh, mames! Opa, opa, opa! Some Portuguese finesse here. Take a bow. The young man out of Lisbon, Portugal, with flair. It almost looked Ronaldo-esque, Jasper. And he 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 flicked and he tiptoed his way. And the chip was mwah, c'est magnifique. <laughs> Definitely a beautiful goal there from Diogo Palato. That was a beautiful chip just to catch the keeper out there. Just diving back, not being able to reach it. Giving him no chance. And the young man, the 19-year-old sophomore out of Lisbon, Portugal there with, with a goal he can look, look back on and tell his kids for years to come. And with just under five minutes left in this game here, it has been somewhat of a masterclass here from your Skyhawks. Looking a bit shaky in the early encounters, but... Picking up the pace towards the end for a very strong finish here. As the arithmetic of this game changes, your Skyhawks 6 and the Falcons of Florida College 1. El Principito here cutting in on this, cutting in in the midfield here. Sees the ball taken off him, but not before he, he wins the throw in. Tomas checking into the game for his Portuguese counterpart, for his Portuguese countrymen. Just three minutes and 35 seconds left to play in this half. And and my moments of the season question, <laughs> Jasper, the, we, they, there have been at least three nominations from this game alone. It has been a somewhat of a good game for the Skyhawks. Good, excuse me, good would be undermining the work that these boys have put in today it has been a great game by your skyhawks as great defending by your senior center back jordan paul sees the ball go harmlessly out of bounds for the goal kick and and as the skyhawks look forward to their game of the season on sunday first off i want to hear your comments from this game jasper and your comments and your encouraging words going into the final group game of the season you know coming into this game starting off this game it was looking a bit shaky you know a bit of errors there but the second half honestly has been superb i think with this form going into the next game these they they this team really has a chance to to, t to topple the number three here. that would be a big upset for them so to come out here with the same spirit the same energy as they did in the second half of just being hungry for goals as they attack here as well it could prove quite beneficial for the team and i think they they do have what it takes it's just a so sometimes it's just a mental block and your skyhawk team here still pressing not satisfied and and would you say the mentality of these boys have changed from the, from the first game we've commentated to the one that we're currently commentating now. Definitely, you know, in the earlier games, you said it many times that, you know, they start off strong and they just fade away at the end and we saw that. But in this game, it seems to be quite the opposite. They start off a bit shaky, but they're looking very strong finishing the second half. So that's a, that's a big positive turn because usually it's, it's not about how you start. It's always about how you finish. And they seem to be finishing strong here. Yeah. 
So, looking ahead, my final question is, what does the Skyhawk team to need to do to ensure that that they are in the playoffs after the final whistle on Sunday? One, do you think the Skyhawks have a chance? And two, what do we need to do? I definitely think there's, the Skyhawks have a strong chance in, in beating Life University. That I do know. And what they need to do is, I feel... Like, do what they, d they came to do in the second half here. Just attack the game as a serious game, of course, but also have fun with it. We're not here to just be serious all the time. It's all about sport as well. Sport is all about having fun. Enjoy the game. Come in as a, as a group, bond with good chemistry. Good chemistry creates good results because you're having fun you're, as well as being serious, as well as knowing it's a crucial time. Just that. And knowing that... You're just here to have fun. Can really uh, be a good mixture four, to see three, a positive two, results four. as shown today. And the results here at the River Bowl Stadium on Senior Night sees your Skyhawks come away with a hard fought, with a sublime, and with a great finish to this game. The scores are your Skyhawks 6 and the Falcons of Florida College 1. It has been my pleasure and it has been my pleasure and the pleasure here of my co-commentator Jasper to have covered this game for you enjoy the senior day spectacles and have a good night
It is ours. Ethan is a center back for Bonaire, Georgia, who is being accompanied by Susie Aller and Earl Aller, along with his girlfriend, Kaylee. Ethan has been a scholar for four years who is majoring in criminal justice. His plans after graduating is to attend law school after taking a year to coach. His favorite memory as a Skyhawk is winning five crossboard challenges in a row against Julio Gomes. Here's words from Ethan. I would like to thank my parents, coaches, and friends, and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, number six, Ethan Eller! Your next senior, number 11, Brandon Cervantes! Brandon is a right wing back from Fort Valley, Georgia, okay. and is being accompanied by his okay. mom. Lord is Cervantes, his dad, Abraham Cervantes, yeah, and his sister, Karen Cervantes. Brandon has been a scholar for five years and is based in business that. administration. Okay. After he's graduated, Brandon's plan is to work with his dad's company and to continue that career in hopes of one day taking responsibility for that business. You're hearing. Brandon's favorite memory as a Skyhawk was winning the 2021 AAC yeah, Conference uh, Championship. Wow. It was special to win with his closest friends and also for his family to be there watching, which was something he said he would never forget. Here's words from Brandon. I'd like to thank all the coaches I've had throughout my time at Point. But most importantly, I'd like to thank Coach Mark along with my family for being there with me and never letting me down. Also, you can catch Brandon on Saturday. He will be on the homecoming court running for homecoming king. Ladies and gentlemen, number 11, Brandon Cervantes. Your final senior, number 12, Jordan Paul. Jordan is a senior back from Lithonia, Georgia, who is being accompanied by his mother, Lisa Paul, and his father, Riley Paul, along with his close friend and sister, Kalari South. Jordan has been a scholar for three years and is majoring in business entrepreneurship. His plans after graduating is to obtain certification for personal training and eventually open his own gym. Jordan's favorite memory as a scholar was bonding with everyone throughout preseason. Another memory that Jordan personally shared was that during his second year, he had to sit out due to a concussion. The following year, Jordan was able to come back to the team because of Coach Mark, which is something that has stuck with Jordan to this day. Here's words from Jordan. I would like to thank my parents for allowing me to play the sport that I love, Coach Mark and the staff for giving me an opportunity to continue my soccer career, and my teammates for welcoming me into a brotherhood. Ladies and gentlemen, number 12, Jordan Paul. All the fans of River Bowl Stadium. After this big win tonight, can y'all give a big round of applause for our men's soccer seniors? And now this is time you can go mingle.
Yeah, the life was like super quiet at the beginning. Hey, the song. Yeah. Is right. 